It's uh, very incredible to see the liveries and see my logo on these liveries. And it's an amazing thing to have. What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel here for another Torque Drift episode. If you haven't guessed by the title, it is the bring back of the Tofu 86 here on the channel. We're bringing it back. New motor, ready to go. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of it's found in the description box below. So without further ado, let's just get to it. Let's go take a look at it, do a little build breakdown on it and see where we're sitting at right now. Maybe buy some more parts. So we are here in the garage with our Tofu 86. We are higher engine max torque then we need to upgrade the engine but we're not we are 808 horsepower the force weighing 808 and we are rocking a 2jz in this car for today the car is definitely on par with some power we're rocking the uh pro turbo at 18 psi and we're rocking our ecu which we don't have the upgraded ecus yet still trying to get some more parts for this car so as for clutch, we are at shift time and clutch cake, which we don't really mess with too, too much. So the nitty gritty of what we're rocking here today, we're rocking a pro angle kit at 65, 4.4, negative half and seven degrees of caster in the front of this car. And for suspension, we are rocking 12 and uh, 0.09. That's what we're rocking in the front. We do have a little bit wider of a track in the front than we do the rear, just to uh, keep to drifting aspects. For the rear, we're rocking one degree. We need to adjust that. We need negative. Negative 4.3 now, and we're rocking 1 16th in the rear. I don't know why the ankle kits always put positive rear camber. Unsure of why it does it, but hey, we all can always adjust back for the rear we're running point. 09 and 8 it's a little bit softer in the rear so that's what we're rocking for our suspension like i said for the body kit we are rocking zero down for us a little bit more front track than rear track that's the factory body kit on the car so we're rocking stock wheels but we're rocking some falcon tires and we are at 14 in the front i believe we're at like 14 in the rear or 18 in the rear so we're gonna drop that back. I just put these Falcon tires on, so the tune's a little bit wonky. So, we're gonna kick that up to about 18 in the front. So that is our tune settings for the re-brought back of this 8.6. The Tofu is back. So we're gonna go rip this car, have some fun with it, maybe do some of the basically Gymkhana style events. If we don't have any cool tracks to run, what do we look? We got Cali Banks at the beginning, we got the jump, and we got Ocean Waves. So we're going to just take it right to Cali Banks, see how we do 808 horsepower in our Tofu 86. We're going to take the Tofu mode off and we're going to see if we can find anybody to run. So if you guys are still enjoying Torque Drift, there's big things to come. Looks like we're going against Gabby in an E46. Big things coming in Torque Drift. I can't really tell you guys what they are, but you guys are definitely going to be excited when they drop. So first run, Tofu 86. After some adjustments and we're already into the wall, but we should be okay. We're going to hard flick entry not the best entry in the world a little bit wonky compared to what i normally do but tapping walls the car transitions really quick i think it has to do with the short wheelbase so if you're not ready for it this car will rotate on you really fast we're going to try to run closer to the outside wall throttle off just a tap stay in it stay in it stay off the wall so we can get a clean lead not the best lead for our first run at Cali Banks, but um, well, I kind of had a bit of a weird entry. And yeah, that was not a good entry. So we're gonna continue 113 to 109. So hopefully we can do better. The car twitched out on me a little bit more than I expected, but we are bringing this car back. So it's gonna be some uh, problems with it in the beginning until we get it fully dialed, but the setup that I have on it seems to be working pretty well. Kind of running up on his door. Gotta try and get as much of the chase points as we can because he's right on us with the lead. We don't really have that big of a cushion. A little door love, transition later. 
Should have transitioned sooner, but we should be able to bring it back here. A little handbrake. Too much. Doing a little uh, Hodibashis. Bumping over the front of that car, but we may have had enough in order to take the win. But we did. We did take the win. We had a better chase than we did. He did, so we are very good on that. Don't think he's going to want to go again. No, he's not going to want to go again. So we're going to try Cali Banks one more time to try to get a better run on it. So, Tofu Mode off. Tofu Mode's fun, but not always the greatest. Kind of looks, eh, for me. I like driving the car without it sometimes. So, Cali Banks, this is the tune. A little build breakdown for you guys on the car. Now we're just running. Now we're just running tandems to uh, throw Testament to the tune. Quick flick entry. Probably staying much higher than our last turn. There we go. Quick handbrake. Hold it there, flick it out, transition. Tire pressure changes definitely made a difference and so did the camber changes from last time I was driving this car. So the car feels much more dialed than it did before. There we go, just trying to get as many points and that's a much better run. Cali Banks, not a 200 point run, but it's still up there for a little 808 horsepower. Toyota Corolla, a 139 to a 96. So we definitely have a bit of a cushion going into this chase. So like I said, there's some big things coming to Torque Drift. Can't really tell you about them. I don't think I'm allowed to tell you about them, so we're going to keep it hush-hush. But just know there's some big things, and you guys know when big things come out, I'm super hyped about it. And I am actually super hyped about the update that is going to be dropping here very soon, hopefully. The devs have uh, keyed me in on a little bit of what's to come, and it's a big one. Some really cool things coming to the game that are going to make the game have a little rush of fresh air and some breath of fresh life bring into the game. So a nice solid little laid back chase here at Cali Banks. But like I said, big things are coming. So make sure you guys stay to the channel because you guys will be able to see them here when I take a look at them. I'm sure you guys will get a chance to play them before you see the videos. But hey, we took that win. So we're on a two win streak right now. So we're doing good. We're gonna switch up the tracks. I think we're gonna head to the jump. We're gonna go to the jump, open class, do a little uh, jump drifting entries with our tofu car. So when a lot of people are still rocking the, the factory Corolla with the Y bodies and stuff like that, I personally prefer the tofu car. Uh, just, you know, love of initial D and everything like that. So we're trying to find somebody, not gonna find anybody, we're gonna try it again. Hopefully it goes there we go. Now we're searching. It looks like we're going against a little Miata. So this is a good short wheelbase battle. Hopefully we can get a good entry on the jump and not totally screw ourselves up. Quick shift in the third. Quick shift in the fourth. Straight line. Kind of flicked it in. Ooh, that pushed out a lot wider than I had hoped. So we totally missed the first clip. But we were able to somehow manage to keep control of it and still stay on our clips so that could have been a whole lot worse long e-brake grab to get up to the wall there we go hard angle there stay oh what uh, apparently I hit the wrong way oh I must have had something on my phone or something but I totally just biffed my lead run and I don't think he's gonna want to go after us again Come on, man. Give me a chance. So, just goes to show you, you know, things happen right away. And no, he's not. He's like, no, I'm going to take that win from you, and I'm just going to go. So, we're going to have to try again. Not entirely sure what happened. I think I slid my finger a little bit too far. But we're going to get a chance to go after him again. The love of Torque Drift allowing you to somehow always get back into it if you want. So, quick fourth shift. I'm going to flick it earlier. There we go. Nice hard initiation. The car drifts out a lot wider on that first turn than I anticipate, but it's probably because of the grippiness of the tires that is not there, because we're only running Falcon import tires, not pro tires. Throw the handbrake late there. Flick it back. All right, this is much more solid of a run. Let's stay away from flicking it into the wall there. I played it a little bit cautious, but we were able to get that run done with barely a second left. So. 90,000, not the best lead here at jump section, but enough to take take the win because he's like, nope, I don't want it. 
So we're gonna try the jumps one more time and then we will head to Ocean Wave. We're gonna leave Tofu mode on for this one. We'll go to Ocean Wave to end this episode off. You should follow me on social media if you're not a subscriber. Do appreciate you tap that subscribe button if you guys are rocking the Evil Rabbit logo in the game as a sponsorship. Direct message me pictures. It's really cool to see you guys throwing support. And we're gonna go against a, a bot. It's good to see the pictures of you guys rocking the support of the Evil Rabbit logo in Torque Drift game. I do appreciate all of you guys doing that. It's uh, very incredible to see the liveries and see my logo on these liveries. And it's an amazing thing to have in the game. So I do appreciate all the support from you guys. And I do get a chance to look at almost every single message I get. If I don't message you back right away on Instagram, it's either I took a look at it or I'm busy doing something. I will try and get back to as many messages as I can. And we are just going to run this wall. Full tap. Almost out of time. But we finished it. Much better run, even though it was kind of wonky at the end. And we definitely have a really higher score than the amateur. So we're going to just try to follow him as close as we can. Then we'll try the Ocean Waves track before we end this episode off. There we go. Not even sure how... Oh, yep, he enters like that. Okay. Okay. Totally just would have written off both of our cars with that. There we go. Ooh. Just glancing his rear bumper. Nothing super major. That was a pretty close follow. If I do say so myself right there. Or do we need to get the points? Quick flick back. Tofu lights engaging. So we're going to go do Ocean Waves before we end this episode off. I know I said that like three times. But... Torch Drift, big things, super excited for things to come. PC build is about to be happening as well. So many new things come to the channel, new games, new content, new perspectives. So we're gonna go to Ocean Waves and end this episode off hopefully on a good hurrah. Cause we did take a loss when we were unable to, we'll put Tofu on, unable to finish our run. So now we're going against John and Red Damber Cat Supra. This is gonna be an uphill battle to say the least. <clears throat> Hopefully we can have a decent lead and hopefully he doesn't get too far ahead of us. So make sure we get all the clips. As close as we can to the wall. Bring it around. Get out there to the wall. Decent lead. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep up with Red Dan Supra. So this is definitely going to be a test to try to find out if we can. 40 to 36, we got a little bit of a cushion. If we can stay close to him, which not sure if that's gonna happen here. So we have to cut this a little bit short and we are able to kind of tuck into his door. We're gonna have to play it, play a shorter line game to kind of stay in chase to get as many of those chase points as we can. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We may have taken that win. If we take that win, that's definitely a good way to end this episode off. So did we take the win? Uh, survey says we did. We did take the win. So we're going to end this episode off on a win. And as always, I uh, thank you guys for coming back and watching. Appreciate all the support. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the next one.